October 2019, a skyscraper in New York City started to tilt, and the truth still haunts the city. It was built for billionaires, tall, shiny, and full of promises. Now it stands frozen, slightly leaning, and locked in legal trouble. The biggest question, why can't it be fixed or even torn down? It's not just about bad design. It's not just about money lost. There's a deeper mystery below the surface, a hidden problem buried where no one can reach it. What you learn in the next few minutes will change how you see every building in Manhattan. This isn't just about concrete. It's about control, failure, and silence. In 2015, a tower at 161 Maiden Lane broke ground in Lower Manhattan, planned as a 60-story skyscraper with stunning East River views. Homes were priced in the millions, built for the super-rich. It was meant to change the skyline and become a new icon for New York City. Buyers rushed in. Hopes were high. But today, it stands empty, leaning, and unlivable. What went so wrong? The tower was built on 18th century landfill, not Manhattan's strong bedrock. Beneath it lies mud, old shipwrecks, and loose soil, never meant to hold a skyscraper. Engineers warned it was risky, but to save money, builders chose cheaper foundations. That one decision, to build on unstable ground, may have doomed the entire tower. Could this buried choice be the real reason the building leans today? To save time and money, builders skipped drilling into bedrock. They used jet grout and concrete mats instead. Quicker, cheaper, riskier. The tower relied on water tanks to balance sway, but not on shifting ground. By 2019, it had tilted three inches, enough to twist floors, walls, and steel. Experts asked, is this just a lean or a structural failure in slow motion? Can a tower this bent be saved? As the tower leaned, glass panels wouldn't fit. Angles were off. Architects had to redesign the exterior mid-build. Inside, nothing lined up. Doors jammed, beams shifted, floors warped. This wasn't a small flaw. The entire frame was twisting. Engineers warned trying to fix it might make it collapse. So why didn't they just stop building? What force kept this flawed tower rising? A worker fell 29 stories to his death. After that, inspectors found multiple safety violations. Contractors blamed developers. Developers sued engineers. Everyone sued everyone. A legal mess. Construction stopped with no date to restart. Buyers were stuck, their money gone, no homes built. The tower now stands half-finished and empty. But with so many people fighting and no clear owner. Who is responsible for fixing this leaning skyscraper? And more importantly, can it ever be saved? Experts warned bringing the tower down could damage nearby buildings. In crowded Manhattan, even a controlled collapse is a huge risk. It could cause citywide problems. The tower's lean is getting worse, but fixing the inside might lead to a full collapse. Engineers say the building is too risky to fix and too dangerous to destroy. So why not just reinforce the base and try to save it? because at this point, no one agrees on how or who should pay. The building's foundation sits on old landfill, not solid rock. That means nothing underneath is stable. If you try to fix the tilt on one side, you add extra pressure to the other and make the problem worse. Every solution brings new risks, more cracks, structural damage, and even bigger lawsuits. The design depends on balance. But now, the balance is completely gone. So what's the hard truth that keeps this tower frozen? It was built to rise, but never designed to survive its own failure. A big part of Lower Manhattan, even Wall Street, is built on old, weak landfill, not strong rock. That means buildings like 161 Maiden Lane were never truly safe. The land underneath it was always unstable. And here's the real secret. This isn't the only skyscraper in danger. This tower isn't just a failed building, it's a warning sign for the whole city. Many other towers sit on the same shaky ground. They look strong. But what's holding them up? The truth is simple. You can't repair a problem that started before the first brick was laid. New York 
didn't just build up. It built on something that could sink at any time. This building can't be finished. It can't be sold. It can't be torn down. Because the real problem is not the design. It's the ground itself. And that ground is still moving beneath one of the richest cities on Earth. Builders saw it. Buyers ignored it. Everyone chose not to listen. Now, 161 Maiden Lane stands as a warning. Money can build tall towers, but it can't fight gravity, it can't stop time, and it can't win against nature. That shiny skyscraper isn't just a failure, it's a ghost frozen in time. In New York City, buildings rise fast, but this one? It never made it. 161 Maiden Lane was built for the ultra-rich, but now it stands as a warning to everyone. You can have money, power, and plans. But if you ignore the ground beneath you, nature always wins. This isn't just a building problem, it's a trust problem, a truth problem, a citywide secret. So tell us, would you trust a high-rise in Lower Manhattan? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And subscribe for more stories buried deep under glass, steel, and silence.